In this video we're going to discuss using a graph to figure out where the first derivative and second derivative are positive and negative. So first let's talk about the first derivative f prime being greater than zero. Well remember what that means. That means the function is increasing. So the function is increasing until right about here and then it's increasing from here on. So there's two intervals. So it looks like we have negative infinity up to about negative 1.25 union about 3.25 up to infinity. And again, what does that tell us? That tells us that f, this being the graph of y equals f of x, is increasing. So if we wanted the intervals where the derivative is negative, it's going to be in between there. So negative 1.25 to 3.25. We'll always use parentheses with these because at these points it's neither increasing or decreasing. It's the one instant where it changes or where the derivative is zero. Now let's talk about the second derivative. So remember what the second derivative talks about. It talks about concavity. So the second derivative is going to be positive wherever the graph is concave up or wherever it opens up. So that's going to be right in here. It looks like at about one is where it switches so it looks like the second derivative is going to be positive from 1 to infinity. And it looks like the second derivative is going to be negative from negative infinity to 1. Now remember what that means. When the graph is concave up, that means there's an increasing rate of change because the slopes are becoming more positive. When the graph is concave down, that means this, we have a decreasing rate of change because the slopes are more negative. This also tells us it looks like we got an inflection point there right where it switches concavity for this graph at about 1, 0 for an inflection point. So there's how we can identify the sign of our derivative based on a graph.